Hey everyone, we are back with some STM32 stuff. I bought these 128 by 128 um, ST7735 boards uh, that referring to the IC that's driving it, and I figured out how to get it to work with the STM32, which I was really happy with. And I'll show you what it looks like working on a Nano as well, and it's not that good. So this offers some superiority. So to get this to work, you're going to have to modify one of the files, and there will be instructions for that down below. And essentially, it should work after that. Otherwise, this will not compile, but the ability for it to work is still there. So all you have to do is just add a couple lines of code, and it will work fine. So here's the STM32. To upload the code, I've been using this ST link, but this will work with the STM32 Duino bootloader that I showed in that previous video. Um, there's also the ST7735 display here, and it's working just fine. Now, uh, you can see some flashing. That just happens because you're clearing and refreshing areas of the screen. And in order to not refresh the whole screen, it's just drawing lines, I believe, is how that's working. So more about this. I have the pin diagram that I used. So here's the connection sheet that I made. Uh, just connect on the LCD to the STM, what it says here, and I'll explain that. So essentially, ground and voltage makes sense. Um, SCL is SC clock, or the clock for SPI. Um, on the STM32, that is PA5 for SPI1, which is the default. Uh, SDA, you use PA7, which is the MOSI, which is SPI output for SPI1. And reset PA4. I don't think it has to be PA4. I think that could be anything. Same for DC and CS, but this is what I got to work. And so leaving it at that, you're welcome to try more on your own. Um, so command something or other for those. That's basically what it does. Reset just resets the LCD. So I, that's what I got working. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect up my Nano and we will try this. All right, so here is the Nano running with the UC Glib and this is hardware serial. Uh, it runs pretty fast, but nowhere near as fast as the STM32. I'm sure if this was a lot more screen and math intensive, this would be a lot slower on the Nano, just because the Nano is not as powerful. Uh, take my word, this is going to be a lot faster if you're using an STM32, uh, but that's about it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. As always, I will try to answer, and let's get some fun projects, guys. Tell me what you made, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.